decided, or when the league decided to come to the Arkansas Center, it's like, it, it's the mecca of basketball. It, it's, you know, we have one of the better leagues in the country, and our guys uh, deserve to play in, in an environment like this. There's nothing better when you walk into that place. You know, we didn't make it two years ago, or three years ago, I guess now. Um, you know, but when we walked into it last year, it, it was, it was a big time environment, and, and that's what the Atlantic 10 needs and deserves. Um, and you know, so I know a lot of guys are, you know, that didn't play last year. The young guys are really looking forward to it. I'd rather be going into the tournament, winning four out of the last five, than losing four out of the last five. Um, you know, mentally before the game, at least you, you have some sanity. Um, but when the ball goes up, it's the team that plays the best. And in, in my experience in, in tournament play, it's like you you got to play the game to win. You can't play the game not to lose. So I, yeah, not not to lose and, and play tentatively. Um, I think that's the biggest mistake that teams make. Is they, they it's like it's, it's one and done. If we don't play well, we're going home. Well, you, you have to have some understanding of that could happen. Um, but at the same time, if you're playing tight uh, and worried about that, then you're not going to play the game the way you need to play. So our mentality is is to to win and move on. It's going to be, you know, playing St. Joe's for the third time. And, you know, I don't know whoever came up with the idea that you can't beat a team three times in a row. I think that's foolish. Um, every game is a, is, a, is a separate game. And when the ball goes up, you know, no matter what happened in the last two games, no matter what happened in the last five games, we got to play well if we're going to win. The energy goes up. The enthusiasm goes up. The heart rate goes up. Uh, I think execution is, is, is paramount. Um, you got to defend, you got to rebound. Um, taking care of the ball and getting more possessions than the opponent is, is key and making foul shots. Um, but it's going to come down to the last two or three minutes and the team that can execute the best is going to win. I always want to play against the best player. He's a good player actually, but you know, I just try to make all his shots hard, difficult. I try to take touches away from him. I try to just mess his flow up a little bit and then he get frustrated. But he'll stick in his... Uh, He'll still do what he do. You know that this is going to be like the eighth time we played them since I've been here. Like it's going to be the eighth that we, and you know, like like you said, we we know each other pretty well, and I think it's just going to come down to just some little stuff, like who's who's going to finish the game strong, and you know, just the little stuff because we both know what we're running, and it should be a fun game. It's amazing. Uh, it's uh, you know, curious to see the type of environment we'll be playing in. You know, you hear nothing but good things about it. You know, just from experience and watching it on TV and, you know, seeing the Brooklyn Nets arena is pretty cool. So, um, like I said, just a joy in this environment, but, you know, trying to stay focused and, and keep our eyes on the prize. Our, our main thing is just playing team defense and executing both ends of the floor and, and playing together because if we play together, then we're one of the toughest teams in the league to beat. We talked about momentum. Uh, that's the same thing that uh, Coach Moore and, and Schmidt and the rest of the staff was stressing to us. Uh, come, you know, having momentum going into Brooklyn is a big thing. So. We executed those last couple of games, so I mean, um, those three runs in a row helped us out big, and uh, hopefully we can use that momentum going into this next game. Tomorrow.